very very important video today testing your girl to see if she's a good fit not just for you but for anybody a lot of time us guys we kind of just go with the flow and we don't really test the girl that we're with because we know what we want you know but we don't test the girl to see if she really got what we are looking for so I'm gonna tell you about this one of my boys he was just telling me literally just like 20 minutes ago and I just dropped him off uh, the girl that he's messing with almost got him locked up like he got like like wrestled down by the police got put in the police car and everything because she said that he like put his hands on that like he hit her he pushed her and was choking her and stuff like that police came of course they don't ask questions when it comes to men they just fucking put you in the you know they wrestle you down to put you in the car next thing you know you got to have a case because you're fighting the police over over uh something that didn't even happen when they being assholes to you so that's what just happened to him and one thing that us guys we forget to do let me i forgot to turn off the air conditioning we forget to test the girls out like i'm gonna show you i'm gonna tell you this is something that i did that uh this girl that i still really really like i'm playing a long game on this one that i really really like but um she didn't know i was doing this she just thought and and i tested this before because I, i'll just say so i'll tell you the yeah so the girl she was you know I, I took her to do some archery right we was going to shoot archery in a park over by the beach and i was just like fucking like like you know like struggling with uh this box <laughs> I hope she don't watch this. Man, if we actually end up dating, maybe I'll show her this later. But we, I was struggling with this box uh, that we were gonna shoot the the arrows at. Uh, we were doing archery, bow, uh, bow and arrows, archery at the park. So I'm struggling with it. I'm struggling with it, and she like, oh, you know, like let me help you out. And I was like automatically in love with her from that point forward because the thing is. That was that situation. She's like, oh, let me help you out. And I'm going to tell you why that's important. I did that also with another girl. And I was, you know, acting like I was, like, struggling with something or trying to figure something out. And she's like, uh, would you hurry up? Like, you know what I mean? Like, instead of helping out, she got the attitude. She got attitude and just like, uh, you know, I wish you'd fucking hurry up or I die and all this. And that's, and I'm in my head, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ready for you to leave already. You know what I mean? Because... That is a very, very important trait. A girl who helps you out instead of fucking pesters you, you know, while you're doing something or just, you know, when you're looking for a good partner. I mean, even if you're dating someone and you find that out, you got to find out. Go a little bit deeper behind that to see why they are that way. But for the, a lot of time, you know, when they're in their 30s and they're acting like that. And they don't want to help you out. They get in a fucking attitude and stuff like that. You kind of don't want to deal with that if you're looking for like a serious partner. I found out because the serious partners that I have had, like the serious girlfriends that I have had, who have had that trait of, oh, I wish you would hurry up when I'm trying to like do something. And they don't help. They don't help with the progress. A lot of times they're going to be like that in a relationship too. They're not going to help you. Oh, my light just went out. Let me turn this light on. My light just went out, but they're not going to help with the process or the progression in both of y'all life. They just come, huh, would you hurry up? Can you do something? Da, 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 da. And I'm not saying that that's, no, it's, it's a bad trait. Don't, don't get that. You want somebody who's going to, you know, unless you're just like a crazy maniac who likes to just do everything yourself and do everything for everybody else. Absolutely go for it. But I feel like the majority of the people is that's not what they want in a relationship, period. You don't want somebody who's just like badgering you to get something done. And instead of alleviating the stress, they add more stress to the situation and make things worse. So to go back to the girl I took to do archery, she didn't know that I'm sitting there struggling. I'm waiting for her to see if she's gonna step in. You know what I mean? I'm doing it for like a minute. I'm like, let me see, let me see what she gonna do. And she's all oh, like, let me up, let's let's put it this way. Oh, like she had a solution. 
So, oh, let's go get the trash can, turn it upside down, just put it on that. It's more stable. And I'm like, I fucking love you. I don't even know you, but I already love you. That is amazing. <laughs> and previously, you know, I had another girl who oh, would you hurry up? Da, da, da. No solution, standing there mad, you know, and upset and frustrated. She ain't even doing anything. It has no type of anything to add to make this, uh, you know, easier or, you know, to work as a team. So it's very interesting, guys. We got to make sure that we... Uh, hold these girls to some type of standards and make sure that they just aren't you know pieces of a uh, of, of butt and you know and uh, <laughs> what's that coochie pieces of butt and coochie that we just got right there by our side draining us of our energy and time um, it's just not worth it. Test these women out. They test us all the time. And I'm not saying test them because they test us. I'm saying get in the habit of testing somebody who you plan on spending more than, you know, a few months with. Because it, you, you just don't want to waste a few months of time with someone who's not going to be progressive with themselves or, you know compliment you you don't want somebody who's gonna bring you backwards or have you at a standstill for even weeks even days okay you want somebody who's also gonna progress who, who wants to progress and wants to progress with you so again guys hey, actually girls y'all can do this too like if y'all require that like y'all want to see if the guy's gonna work with you as a team you know I've even seen guys dating girls and they 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 would be doing something like the girls would be doing something and the guys would not be helping whatsoever and that's if that's something that you require which i think that should be a requirement because that shows you again how the relationship is going to go with the guy if you run into any issues is he going to have is he, is he going to be able to sit there and come up with a solution with you you know what i mean like it's it's i feel like in order to get through life as a team and to have the best odds of winning is good to have someone who is going to sit there and think like if you sitting there like this they should be sitting there doing the same thing because uh, you know uh, nine times out of ten whatever's going on is gonna affect the both of you if you all are together if you're dating or if you're in a even if you're married if you're in an exclusive relationship or you marry like any of that stuff you want to have somebody who's going to be sitting there thinking with you and not fucking beating you on the head you know while you're trying to think and they just da, 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 you, you know what i'm saying it just doesn't help so i just had to talk about that i feel bad because my boy almost went to jail that would not have been a good thing and uh, test these women and I ain't even mentioned the fact that she's pregnant on top of that. So, test these women before you get, uh, test who they are before you put a baby up in them. Test who they are before you give them any amount of your time, okay? Test these women, okay? Find one with substance. I found one with substance. I'm just waiting for her to come back to Miami. <laughs> Oh, wait, but to come back. Why does she have to live so far? I don't give a damn. Y'all already know me. If you know me, you know I'll move to where you at. I don't give a damn. I move for love, baby. As two of my uh, previous girlfriends that I jumped states for. And, yeah, I mean, granted, it didn't work out, you know, but still. It's, it's, what, you, you know, it's, it's, it's what you do for love. It's what you do for love. So, test these women. That's the last thing I'm going to say. Peace.